What's up, Albuarians? Alex Duda here, founder and CEO of Albuware. First off, I just want to really say thank you to everybody for being an Albi client. Um, this is absolutely amazing. Our customer base is growing really well. And uh, this is awesome because the more customers we have, the more we can innovate. Um, I do want to apologize right off the bat. We haven't really gotten into a rhythm with our release notes yet and letting everybody know in a cadence on what's coming out new. As you guys have been noticing though, every like two to three weeks, we come out with something new, um, significant within the app. So I want this to be the milestone of starting these um, rhythm um, cadence notes and basically a video kind of explaining the new things that are happening within Albi, um, sending everybody an email, keeping everybody up in the loop. And then obviously your account manager is going to be the person that you're gonna be in touch with when um, you have any questions, comments, or concerns. So, um, as you guys know, in the previous release, we did a what's new in Albi video. A lot of uh, big features came. Every six weeks or so, we come out with a big release. So Drybook and Web was one of them. The new PDF reports was another one of them and a few other things. Uh, this release right now is one of the what we call the two-week release. And the two-week releases are typically uh, smaller releases, but they do have a pretty big impact upon the product overall. But they're not like a huge, big feature uh, kind of thing. So, um there's a couple of things that we added uh, that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about and the use case. So let's dive in. So the first thing is under relationships, organizations, and contacts within our CRM feature, we did add um, under activities uh, an expiration date. And the purpose of that expiration date is if you go over to activities and we go over here and add an activity, um, we can add an expiration date and we can upload a file. The nice part about this is we can start keeping track of vendors, uh, insurance information and things like those under these organizations. So we can add in a COI and then put an expiration date and then quickly glance over the activities and, and see that expiration date. We are in the process of triggering automations based on the expiration dates. That is not out yet, but we are working on that. Um, but as of right now, if you guys just wanna upload your W9s and your, your COIs and things like those for your vendors, you can, and then you can add those expiration dates uh, within there. Now, the second thing that we added was email templates. So if you go to settings and then you go over to company, we can go down here and um, there are templates. And then if we add a template, we can actually create a type, call it an email template. We can call it test. And then we can put in testing, for example, in the body. So we can write out a whole email template of something that we wanna say. And now every single time that we go over to a relationship organization, for example, and we add in an activity. Let's go over to activities and add. We can basically, if we toggle send email, we can grab a template. And those are the different templates that we have that we can probably, we can pretty much add in here. So, and the same thing goes for projects. So if you guys have a standard email that you guys wanna send out on projects, you guys can do the same thing. We can go over to the project, we can go to the timeline, create note, send email, and then select template. So this is gonna help you make sure that you're sending out those email templates as is. Now, obviously we do have our automations package that you can opt in for, talk to your account manager about where those email templates can then become automated and those text templates can also become automated as well. So um, the if you don't have admin access to settings, you can still create templates under your profile. So you can go up here to Albi support or to your name, then you can go to profile, you can scroll down to uh, preference here, and we have templates. And then in here, you can add your personal. The difference between the company and the personal is that you can have templates that only you have access to whereas there could be company templates that everybody in the company has access to. So uh, what is the next item on our list? We did fix a bunch of bugs that were reported to you guys. We had a little call recording bug and a few other things that were all fixed. And then the other thing that we did is we went over to the projects, grids, and uh, to all these settings. And before you had to write the index manually and it got a little bit hodgepodge. Right now, in order to just change the order, you just drag and drop these. So we have those on dates, we have them, all of the project settings kind of got a little bit of a facelift just to make things a little bit uh, more user friendly to say the least. So, um, and that is pretty much it for the mobile. Um, we're gonna take a quick dive into, uh, for the web at least, and we're gonna take that quick dive into the mobile and see what new things came out in the mobile in just a second. 
All right, so we're here in the mobile app. Uh, I just want to take the quick opportunity to appreciate our um, newest member of the family, Sophia Duda. She's our precious baby right there. Uh, you know, fatherhood kind of put me down that route where I just love seeing her every day. But anyway, back to the day by day. Um, this is the mobile app and the newest thing that came out within the time clock, if you guys did not see, is the fact that we now display the map um, where you are and you can kind of um, see the position of where you're clocking in from. So we had some issues where, you know, some people are geolocated slightly off. So you can put in a note if you believe that um, your position is not um, accurate. So we can actually clock in again, select the billing type and then the project type and put in notes and hit done. And now the new clock in page looks like this. And then we have the ability to clock out at the bottom, but then um, a lot of people requested the ability to switch projects. So we have the ability to switch the projects as well. We have the ability to take a break from the mobile app. And then we can also see all of our timesheet history, see all of our clock ins and clock outs from here. So um, then under profile, if we go to profile and go to timesheets, our hours now show up here as well. And this was uh, tweaked as well a little bit. Um, what else did we have that's new? Um, yes, no fix for insurance selection. So a couple like like tweaks and enhancements within there. Um, we reduced the viewing time on PDFs to make the um, app move a lot faster. And if we go into a project and we go over to the files and we go to documents here and we open up a PDF. So the PDFs are loading much faster. And then if we go to images, we added a nice uh, scroller at the bottom here where you can kind of scroll through the images as you're scrolling through. So those are kind of the, the biggest things there. And then there were you know bugs and enhancements and things like those that were also added within this release. But that's uh, really about it. If you guys have any questions whatsoever regarding any of these things, please reach out to your account manager. As you know, uh, your account manager is here for your success. You paid for onboarding, so you get that account manager. If you don't know who that account manager is, you can ask me personally or ask uh, support. Now, if you run into any issues, uh, we do have our support line. You can basically, you can just look up Albiware and then our phone number is here. Our support team is available from nine to five, Monday through Friday. And then as always, when you are in the app, you do have the chat uh, button that is down here below where you can chat with a representative as well. So looking forward to your feedback. Thank you again for being a beloved Albi user and Albi Warian, as we'd like to call you guys. And I will be reaching back out to you guys with the newest release notes as they come out.